All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> How's everybody doing? Excuse me. <clears throat> okay. Now, it's one of those days. You get up. You get up and spend the morning. You get down on my knees. I pray to the Lord above. Won't you help? Help me, please. Get down. Pick up your husky now. Get down. Pick up your steel. Pick up my McCullough, baby, get your sail for thrill. All right. Monkeybeaver.com for Merlin Organ. I got a feeling I know what's in this box. I was at August Haneke's house on our, uh, on our trip. Blanchard, what have you done? Justin Blanchard. What have you done? Where is... Oh. Yes. Let me take these. And... Sorry, friends. I'm gapping right out. I've got a few things in front of my face here. I'm trying, there we go. That's what I'm after right there. Once I get this mess out of the way. What have you done? August Hummicky. I think I know what he's done because uh, I left my glasses at his house. That's a pretty big box for, uh, oh, 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 you're kidding me. Hey, August, that's pretty nice, buddy. I guess I'm a monkey beaver now. I'm part of the monkey beaver crew. <laughs> I never thought I'd be a part of the Monkey Beaver crew when I joined uh, YouTube. I just thought I was going to be a hippie logger for the rest of my life. I didn't think I was uh, keen enough to be a Monkey Beaver. Billy, are you coming? <laughs> and now I am. I'm a monkey beaver. Well, I'll tell you something, August Haneke. You are uh, you are quite a fella, buddy. You are quite a fella. I like what you do. I like what you stand for. Uh, I, I I like the fact that you're you're a passionate man about the industry, as I am myself. Uh, I think uh, this industry you have to have passion. Um, I, I think you have to have drive. You have to be a little bit cuckoo. Cuckoo. I do. I think you do have to be. Um, you don't have to be. Helps. That's, that's good tape. Really good tape. Where do you get your tape, August? So, Billy Ray's got himself a, a monkey beaver bar now. Look at this, friends. Wow, holy cow. Made for this. Monkey plus beaver equals tree climber. Well, I guess I'm a monkey beaver. Now, I reckon this is for the stills, eh? even straight thanks August appreciate it buddy and he's given me something else he has given me the monkey beaver shirt yeah August thanks buddy hey look at Buck and Billy Ray oh sorry you can't quite see everybody's got to have their own shirts right you got to have your shirts Buck and Billy Ray she cuts eh she cuts eh August, thanks, bud. I just got to get my scissors out. And, and, um, to be honest, uh, he did a good thing because I, I left my son, I, my, my C and I glasses there. I left my C and I glasses at, at August's house. So he, he packed them up uh, real nice like, and, uh, and there they are.
Oh yeah, there they are, right there. And actually, you know what, August? These are these were one of my favorite things because I made myself a little uh, a little thing, and I never they're always on my freaking head, and I love them. August, you did a good thing, buddy. I thank you so much for sending my glasses back to me, bud. Right? Yeah. Lava. Okay, August. Chop. Make sure we got nothing else, like a million dollars in there. Nope, no million dollar check there. No million dollar check there. But that's a million dollar check right there. Made for this. Nice decal. Very nice, August. Very cool. Thank you, buddy. I'm honored. I'll, I'll run that on my saw for sure. I'll put it on there today. Maybe tomorrow. Over and out, friends. Thanks, August. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, hi, friends. How are we doing? Good, good, good. Just got this shirt in the mail here from... Looks like... Uh, I don't know. The Monkey Beaver shirt. Okay. Well. Let's... Get it, get it straight here. We can't have. He's a wood man. He's a wood man. Oh, he's a wood man. He's a wood man. Use his mouth to wipe his bum. Right about here, my center to there. I've made quite a few of these suckas. So we go right about there. We go in here like this. Right there. Now we come over here. I think I nailed this one, August. Oh yeah, sure I did. You're darn tootin' I did. Nailed it. Nice job, Bucking. Very nice. Oh yeah. Whoa, I took my glasses off. To boot. Whoa. Come on here now. Let's put those back on. Look at the balsam. Look at that freaking balsam pitch, friends. <laughs> That's like three days ago. <laughs> I don't even bother washing it off. It'll come off. Why, why send it down the drain? It's going to clog up the drains. Oh, look at me, friends. Oh, he nails it. Bucking beaver. Yeah. Look at me. Ha <laughs> ha. I'm a monkey beaver. <laughs> Thanks, August. I love it. It's actually quite a nice shirt, isn't it? <laughs> All right, good. Let's do it. Hey, whoa. Okay. Now, what's that? Oh, yeah, good. Okay, there's my bars. Now. All right. There we go. Justin freaking Blanchard. I don't know what he's done here, this Justin Blanchard character. He's got like axe handles or something here. I, 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 he never told me. I'm sorry, friends. I'm just getting. There you go. Sorry. I just wanted to get you situated there so we can do this here. There we go. I'm happier with that. Much happier. Oh, sure it is. Oh, it looks handmade out of something. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's very, very nice, Mr. Blanchard. Is this? Look at this, friends. Straight up and dune, lads. He isn't putting a carf in or he's going to leave it up to me. This is quite a nice handle, smooth. He's got it a little bigger on there so it'll sit down. I quite like it. This is very nice, Mr. Blanchard. Seriously, nice job. What is it, buddy? Is it maple? It looks like maple. Wow. Now what's this? A double bit? Are you kidding me, buddy? <gasps> it is. Oh. Oh my goodness. Mr. Blanchard. Oh, it is too. Okay, I can't believe this character. What has he done? This is Mr. Blanchard, friends. Justin Blanchard. He's been on the channel for a freaking long time. And he's a good, good guy. And he's got a family. Oh, and he's done a... Oh, dear Lord. Be kind. Love to the bucking 
family. Hey, you know, oh, dear, oh, look at this little guy here he's got going, friends. It's really nice. It's got a nice palm swell on it. Nice palm stop. Nice and thin. Pretty straight. Nice job. Is this maple, buddy? What is this? That's really nice. You done a nice job, kid. Nice job. Straight up and down green. Good show, lad. Looks very good. Mr. Blanchard, what a nice fella you are. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Look at this, Fred. This is really nice. What a guy to take all that time to do that. And send it to this Buck and Billy Ray character with his freaking monkey beaver shirt on. Hey, friends. Look at it. And you know what else I got on? Friends, I'll tell you right now what I got on. I'll tell you this right now what I got on. Do you know, if money was no object, if money was no object, you know what I mean? I would just walk around with shirts like this on, with what I got left of, of, of my, my, my arms and my biceps and my body and my triceps, but what I got left on the yardstick of life, of course, because on the yardstick of life, I happen to be, boom, right dead center in the middle. That's where I am. Me and Decal talk about this a lot. What are you gonna do? This is gone. Uh, this is this is gone, baby. School, sports, girls, partying, work, life, kids, wife, married, family, boom, work, bang. Here I am in the middle of my life. I've got, I'm halfway down the yardstick of life, friends. Right there, I got this to do something with. What am I going to do? What are you going to do? The better question is. Seriously, what are you going to do? I'm being serious right now. I know it doesn't seem like I am because I'm a bit of a cuckoo, but I'm telling you right now, I'm dead serious. Right? I'm going to help as many people out as I can. I'm going to try and inspire people to be the best they can, to live in their own skin and to not apologize for who they are and to don't justify their existence to anyone and just be a good person and be kind and give yourself a reason to not have to feel bad about yourself. For your self-esteem to soar with the eagles instead of lay down with the fleas. If you steal and cheat and be dishonest and, and do bad things, then you haven't given yourself any reason. Or if, and another reason, if you, if you lie, if you, you lie about knowing stuff, it's just, just lack of humility. It can be really tough on the self-esteem. I was there at one point in my life, friends. I was. Not mean and bad to people, but I, I, didn't, I didn't know much about much. I didn't. I, I, I wanted to know things about motors and automotive and stuff, but I pretended I knew. You know how hard that was on my self-esteem? I figured it out later. That I just didn't accept myself. I just like, oh, I'm just, I'm just BR. I, I don't, I don't know about that stuff. I'd like to learn instead of going, oh yeah, the camshaft with the, th yeah, oh, absolutely. So what's, what's, uh, what duration you got on that? I didn't know what the hell I was talking about. I didn't know. So I learned when I screwed my head on straight there years ago, well over 20 years ago. Now I screwed my head on straight and you know what I did? I, I was into motors and trucks and stuff. So I got, I got an old motor. And I put it on an engine stand and I flipped it upside down and I tore it apart. And I saw how it worked. I saw how the inner workings worked, how the cam went in there and how the valves and everything worked. The crank, it's connected up to this pistons and how it all worked. And now I knew what I was talking about. That was good for my self-esteem. That felt good because I was being honest. This is a crazy video, but friends, I don't care what people think of me no more. I don't care about saying stuff like this on YouTube because I know there's men out there that perhaps didn't have that that father figure in their lives or or or, or just just didn't they didn't have that. I didn't have it. I didn't have it. So I went and learned myself. But what a difference to my self-esteem when I actually learned about things and started talking about stuff that I knew about. Hey? What a great thing.
So now I just, it's been a, it's been a chain reaction from that day. It's been like, oh yeah, I don't know about that. So no, I don't know about that. I, I don't have any interest in learning either. So I don't pretend to know. So move on. And off I go to something I'm interested in, like trees and power saws and love and helping people and inspiring and living my life to the absolute fullest and not stomping on anybody, helping people out of the ditch, stopping and giving somebody a hand with their car, or opening a door for somebody, hanging out and waiting for them, grabbing their bags, just helping out instead of being focused, tunnel vision and worried about my life and what I've got on the go all the time. What I've got on the go, I gotta go. I don't gotta do nothing. I don't gotta do nothing. I've got an opportunity to enjoy what's going on around me. I've got an opera freaking tunity, not an obligation. I, I'm not obligated to do anything. Obligations are, 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 they're something you have to do. I gotta do this, I'm obligated. Ah, oh, obligations are a bummer. Obligations are opportunities. I changed the word. I did. I changed the word to opportunity. I've got an obligation to pay my mortgage. No, you don't. You don't. You're not obligated to pay your mortgage. You're not. You cannot pay your mortgage and you can pay the consequences of that decision by losing your home and going and living somewhere else. So you don't have to do nothing. You're not obligated to do anything. You're not obligated to go look after your kids. If you have a father and you've split up with your wife, you're not obligated. You have an opera freaking tunity to go be good to your kids. If there's kids in the mix, go be a freaking dad, a brother, a friend. I'm talking like this right now because I got a friend of mine who's struggling right now big time. He's mixed up. He's got kids that want to see him and he's too, he can't, he, he's thinking that he can't get in there. Well, you can get in there, buddy. You can get in there. Plain and simple. Drop the ego and go in humble. And just say, I want to see my kids. I'm their dad. They need me. Because they do need you. Kids need their dads and they need their moms. And dads, grab an ax. I'm doing this thing right now. I've sold, in the last couple months, three months, I've sold axes to fathers who've bought one for their sons. Sean, Wirt, old boy, he's got a video out with him and his son. His son was playing crazy games all the time. And Sean said, we gotta get off these games and get out in the bushes. Yes, you do. And he bought him an ax and he sent me a video of those two guys out in the bush swinging the axes together. Oh man, come on. You don't need a buck and special to do that. You can go get any freaking ax to do that. You don't need one of my axes to do that. If you want one, you got her by all means. But I'm going to start doing stuff where, like me and Hogan are hanging steady, right? We're out splitting, chopping, bucking, everything all the time, right? So what a treat. I never had that. I never had that crap with my old man. Nah. Anyways, that was my story. So I'm rambling. Totally big ramblethon, eh? Big time. Don't really care. Don't really care. You can either watch it or you can turn the channel. It's that simple. What the hell's that? Who cares? What was that? Oh, that's my... Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. So what this is, is this is Mr. Blanchard as well. He's, he must have a plan. Justin Blanchard has a plan. I don't know what it is. But it revolves. What is this? Is that a freaking Tim Hortons? <laughs> you dirty dog. Oh, the Canadians. I love it. Tim, Tim Hortons, eh, friends? Justin, you're a good man, buddy. Thank you so much. Justin's a family man. Gotta love a family man. Oh, look at this. He's got me things that I can use. Oh, these gloves. Yeah, these gloves. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thanks, buddy. I use these actually. Winter's coming. Good timing. 
Yeah, these are those. Yeah, these are the ones we use. These are the falling gloves we use. We use these in the winter. I use them in the winter. They're tough to climb with a bit because they kind of they're funky. But I like falling in them when I when I'm on a steady falling job. Very nice. Probably three four pairs there. Thanks, Justin. Uh oh, here's instructions. Oh yeah, he's got he's got instructions. Well, bucking Billy Ray it says bucking, bucking, bucking. Where to start? Well, I guess thank you for everything, creating this wonderful community, showing us kindness, positivity, and mostly love, and the chainsaws, of course, the Max. He he he. He said he he he. Uh, here's a few things for you. There's a few acts. A few uh, axe heads and handles that I have made. Buddy, good job. Oh, the fudge you see in the Ziploc bag, don't eat it. It's homemade. Soap. Oh, homemade soap that my wife made from our pigs. Pig fat. Oh, cool. Another hee hee behind that. Uh, the Tim's card is for your mom. I've seen somewhere that she loved those apple fritters at Tim's. So, oh, cool. I'll give it to her. Thanks, Justin. Thanks, buddy. Uh, there's a true temper in there, and I would like you to give it to Hogan. He needs an axe, eh? One of the doubles is for me. I'd like another bucking special. Oh, cool, buddy. Cool. And it's the one with the round emblem. Right on. Awesome, pal. You know which one, I'm sure. Anyways, love to you and your family. Love, Justin, Solange, Zachary, Nolt, and Nico. Buddy, you got a freaking team you're starting there with all them kids. Justin Blanchard, now listen up, buddy. You listen up here, pal. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. You, you've been here a long time, my friend. You're, you're a good guy. You're a super good guy. You're a family man. And uh, th this is this is nice. I, 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 I really appreciate this, pal. Uh, you want another bucking special, eh? Good, good. Well, hey, listen, thanks for the head for Hogan. He's going to freak. He's going to fit it with me. I'm going to get him in here doing it. Justin Blanchard, you dirty dog. Thank you, buddy. <clears throat> I'll let him know. Um, okay, so we got... Uh, Oh, oh. Okay. So, so, so get this, friends. Uh, I got all them drum kits, right? And Hogan, uh, the first drum set I ever bought for Hogan was a Premier. Uh, it, was a, it was a nice drum set. A very nice drum set. Like a, like a, Premier was a good line of drum. They were excellent drums. They were English and they've been around a long, long, long time. Premier didn't make bad drums. They, their student level kits were wonderful. Okay. They just are. Uh, so we got a gray kit and Hogan says to me the other day, I was, uh, Wendy works with a guy. He doesn't have much. He's a, he's a, he just doesn't have much. He's got no money. He's got nothing. And, and we're going to give him a kit, right? I was going to give him one of my old kits, give it to him. And, uh, Hogan pipes up and says, well, how about that gray one, that premier kit? Maybe I can give him my old kit. Hogan, 18 years old. The boy's making me proud, really proud. So see what happens? He starts the, you see how the giving thing goes? Now Justin Blanchard wants to give him an act. Victor just gave him his truck. Victor gave Hogan that, that old Ford truck that I sold Victor out in the yard there. That's the only Richard, stipulation. Uh, I'll have to call up Rich. Yeah. Yeah, actually, yeah. Okay. So, Victor. Hey, Rick, that's freaking awesome. 
so we'll have that other chipper rock and do at some point and sweet dropping the old board and the chuck is back. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> chuck and duck in the old Ford. That's where that Ford shined. That, so that old chuck that uh, Victor and sold. So Vic, just give Hogan that uh, that one ton, because I sold Victor that one ton. And the last day we ran it, Victor ran it, and it was the thing was beautiful, like beautiful. And all of a sudden it like burped and farted, and, and then it came out of it. And it did that to me a long time ago too. And then it never did it again. We're talking like years ago, and it was almost like it ran on four cylinders for like 100 feet, and then it cleaned up like water in the gas, you know what I mean, friends? And Vic says, Buck, and I'm on the side of the road with this thing. This is before he bought it. It was before he yeah. bought it. Yeah. And uh, anyway, we, 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 we uh, tried the carb, tried this, tried that. So anyways, we think it's the distributor. It, the little, I think it's the distributor or something like that. And me and Vic talked about it a long time ago. So we threw a carb at it and all that. Anyways, it's a dump truck. It's the old, it's the old he just gave it to Hogan. I put new binders on that freaking truck. New brakes all the way around. So it was a good, good truck. And he just gave it to Ganges. That's pretty nice, Victor. Pretty nice. Christmas bonus. Yeah. There you go. So we're probably gonna have to get this old Ford rocking again. <laughs> That's killer, friends. It's back in the house. The old Ford. Isn't that amazing, friends? How that works? God, you just never know, right? So, so the old dump truck. We got to get it going. We got it. We got to figure out why it's not running. Hopefully the brakes aren't seized up. It's been sitting a while. It's been sitting a while. It'll say on here, 2017 probably. Yeah, right there. May 2017, right there. So that's not that bad. That's not that bad. It's actually a great truck. It, it is, friends. It's a great... This thing's awesome. Four-speed, tight, tranny. There's some... I always carry my old man's beard with me wherever I go. There it is. Hanging off the review. Interior light. This truck, it, it it's crazy. Friend. Oh, dear Lord. Look at these wasps. See? They're, they're, they're here. Look at them. See them? Little buggers. They're just, I don't know what they're all about, but so here it is. The 460 1977 Ford. So we, we got to get it going. It's a dump truck. It's a beautiful truck, Fred. I'm so stoked for Hogan. 350. It's a, it's, was that a fat tire? A little bit. Yeah, probably. Okay dump truck it's had water in it it's probably rusted chip box <laughs> it's back in the family and now Blanchard's given Hogan an axe the boy's working hard he's doing good things he's thinking good thoughts Justin you're a good man thank you Hogan's gonna love this very nice okay so I'm making you oh this this feels interesting what do we oh this might be oh yeah oh Oh, oh, buddy, are you serious? Oh, he's going to freaking love it. Friends, are you, Justin, are you, Justin, are you serious, buddy? Are you really serious? Hogan's going to freak on this. Justin, you're such a good guy. Buddy, that's a dandy. Oh, he's going to love it, buddy. Justin, thank you so much, pal. Thank you so much. Hogan's axe. Oh my good. Look at friends. This ain't no whistling Dixie. This is a freaking. This is a jersey pattern, friends. Justin, buddy, thank you again, bud. Wow. This looks like one of them extra long ones. They call them uh, Jersey Plain, Baltimore, Jersey Plain. Oh, it's gorgeous. It is, it's a plain Jersey. Wow. Oh, he's gonna love it. Justin, what a good guy you are. Yeah, yeah, it is. Oh, look at that. Interesting. So, 
There's the one with the round insignia right there. Look at that, friends. See it? That's the one, eh, Just? This is a long unboxing, buddy. Very cool. Consider it done. I'm waiting on handles. Beaver Tooth was backed up a little bit on, on, uh, on double bit handles, uh, friends. Just so you know, just a little bit. He's, he's, I think he's, uh, he's going to mail next week. So, yeah. And I'm going to Indiana. Yeah. Let's put that over there. Now, what's this? This says love to the Bakken Army. Blanchard, buddy. What a, what a great guy you are. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh, look at this. Oh, I love it. Oh, I really like it. You know what? I just saw an axe. Um, oh, what a beautiful little axe. Uh, Justin, I'm not joking you. This is really nice. It's a small axe head, friends. It is. It's small. It's a dandy. That's going to be a wicked little splitter. Looks like it's got a name on it of some kind. Like, but maybe not. Oh, no, it's. I think it's a Walters. I think this is a Walters axe. Support ground research and rescue. Nice, sweet old pin. I like that. Look at look at him. Look at him. He knows what I'm after. Justin, buddy, what a nice package, bud. There's the soap. Oh yeah. Nice. Very nice, buddy. I like it. I'll give it a shot. It's not fudge, eh? Last axe head. Justin freaking Blanchard. What a box. Hogan's going to freak, by the way. Freak. He don't show much emotion, but he's going to love this. I do know this. And I think it all started from him. Uh, oh, is this? You got to be kidding me. You son of a... Buddy, you, Justin, this is nice, man. Friends, yeah, he sends me an HB. Look at it. Justin, it's even got the sticker on it, the Haltsbrook sticker, part of the, buddy, you, it's three pounds. That's all it is, is three pounds. Just. It's Justin, three pounds. Get it? Justin, three pounds? Okay, yeah. Um, friends, let's do a freaking Buck and Army, Soldiers of Kindness, super duper thank you for. Justin freaking Blanchard. This is a channel package. Deadly, buddy. Deadly. Huh? You know what I'm talking about? Uh, Justin, I love you, buddy. Say hi to your family. Hugs to everybody there. This is a freaking 27-minute video, and it ain't getting edited at all. It's going straight out. Over and out, friends. Love yous all. Be kind. Justin. Hey, Buck, and my name's Hezekiah. Thanks for the act. My favorite type of tree is a coastal redwood, and when I grow up, I want to be a police officer. Hi, Buckin. My name is Hosanna. My favorite animal is a wolf, and my favorite food is spaghetti. Hi. My favorite food is carrots. What's your name? Liberty. Liberty. Hello, Buckin. My name is Caitlin, and my favorite animal is a dolphin. My favorite food is um, tacos. This is Joey. Hey, Joey. We can't talk about his favorite food. <laughs> <laughs> Smile. Hi. 
Hi, Buckin. Thanks for the encouragement. My favorite animal is a monkey beaver. <laughs> That's right. Thank you, YouTube.